Um, continually, the administration has claimed that the health care law is giving Americans more freedom in their health care choices. And uh, in reality, this law is really going to force many Americans to buy a product, which is a government-defined health care product. Um, in addition to that, um, he, President Obama also promised that the American people, if they liked their current health care insurance, they would be able to keep it. Uh, but as we see in the law, it will limit the um, use of health care savings accounts. And um, being in the medical field uh, for a number of years, 40 years now, I think that one of the things that we've seen that has driven the cost of health care up is that we've taken the consumer out of the driver's seat. And they're not making choices. And I was very excited about maybe expanding this product because it would give an opportunity to put somebody back in the seat that wants to be in the seat and would also give more um, opportunities for different vehicles rather than a set uh, type of insurance that most employers uh, do have and offer to their employees. Um, Mr. Womack, I think you're the one that mentioned about health care savings accounts, and all of you certainly can respond uh, about where you feel that this might help companies if they were given that choice to use those as, a pay as compared to being forced into a certain product or a certain um, type of care. Thank you. And I I'm a Knoxvillian, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, nice great. Nice to see you. Um, we were faced with a, a huge premium increase this last year, and I can't remember the number because uh, we were bidding and, and we saw so many different numbers, but it was in the neighborhood of 30 percent. And so we decided to go ahead and look at an HSA, and we did uh, begin to offer an HSA as an, as an option to our, to our managers. And uh, I have my own HSA story. We, my wife had an, an MRI ordered recently and, uh, by the hospital at a cost of $1,100. And uh, someone said, you need to shop that around. And so we went out and, and to a, a diagnostic facility, uh, literally just down, down the road, uh, and got the same procedure for $350. Uh, you know, and that, I, truthfully, I don't know that we would have even thought about that had we not been using an HSA where, we were, where we're spending the money out of our account ourselves. So it's those, and that, that type of story gets told over and over and over. Uh, in, in HSAs. They're just a huge benefit. When you put the, when you put the individual more in touch with, with their own spending, they will find ways to control it. And, uh, and they get to keep that money in the account uh, and roll it forward. And it's just, it's a beautiful plan. It should not be impeded. We shouldn't do anything uh, to, to hamper HSAs. Thanks for the question. I would say very quickly, I have a similar story. We put the health savings accounts in six years ago, and at the first year, the employees resisted it, did not like it, but over time, they have grown to appreciate those that take care of themselves, have seen their savings accounts grow, and I too have seen instances where employees had exams or uh, scanning type of tests to be done and were able to go online and literally save a couple thousands of, of dollars because they were able to research it themselves and there was an incentive there to do so. Yes, Mr. Holtz again. Yeah. But do you have a comment? Oh, well, I, I don't have the business experience of these gentlemen. But certainly in the, the alternative reforms that were envisioned in the debate leading up to the Affordable Care Act, uh, one version is to put consumers at the centerpiece of this one-fifth of the economy in the same way that they have driven the other four-fifths to be the largest, strongest economy on the planet, and, and then, you know, require insurers and providers to compete in price and quality, and uh, that's a very different vision than what we see in this law. Thank you. I yield back my time. The gentlelady yielded.